Hello everyone, my name is Ro and welcome to our channel where today we're going to be doing something relatively different. We're going to be reviewing a book. Yes, an opportunity for me to look more intellectual like this. Today I'm going to be reviewing this book here, the How to Draw Anatomy book. This is one book that was written by Dr. Phil Malloy. He's one of the founders or the founder of this page here, an Instagram page with the same name, the How to Draw Anatomy. And we included their Instagram account on our video on the top 10 Instagram accounts. Basically when I was going through the different Instagram accounts that featured anatomy, this was one of the accounts that popped up. I thought it was a really great simple account where they show you these short videos, one minute videos on how to draw the mo most daunting anatomy topics. So I decided to include them on our top 10 Instagram accounts. Then Dr. Phil Malloy contacted us and sent us this book and we were really excited to explore it with you all and that's why we decided to create this video. Remember here at Kenham we're always excited to look at what's being created in terms of resources to learn anatomy with and we create here videos, articles, quizzes and atlas sections so anything that goes beyond that we're always interested in exploring and even seeing if they could complement the content that we create on the website. And this book could be it, but we're going to find out on this video together. So the first thing that you see here is, <laughs> surprise, surprise, the cover. And here the cover, you get a little bit of a preview of what you're expecting here in the book. So you see a few images that you can be using or drawing throughout your experience of learning anatomy with this book. And as we open the book, you can see here on the first pages a little bit about Dr. Phil Malloy. Dr. Phil Malloy is an anesthesia core trainee at the University Hospital of Wales. And as he states here, I can see that he mentions that one of the goals here with this book is to create an, a resource, a way to really simplify some of the topics that we learn in anatomy. Because one of the things that you see whenever you learn anatomy, you can be looking at a cadaver, which looks something like this, or even anatomy illustration that can look like this. And either images can sometimes look a little bit daunting, so the cool thing about this book is that they will simplify some of these complex structures that you need to break down and understand what attaches to what, for example, what branches are coming out of a certain artery or what muscle is attaching to a certain structure. So let's see where this takes us. Moving on, you can see here the senior reviewers, the junior reviewers, acknowledgements, things that you can take some time to look at, and the content. I think this part is important because it is interesting to see how they're going to be splitting the book. I can see that they're splitting it into systems, so a systematic approach, which is a commonly used approach nowadays in a lot of universities, but there's also the regional approach that we currently use at CanHub. So you can always find a way to match both. All you have to do is find the system that you want to focus on, and then maybe there break it down into the region that you want to look at, or the structure that you want to focus on. So I can see that they cover the main topics here for different different systems. And as we move to the next page, we find the how to use the book page, which is quite useful because when you have a guide like this one to show you how to learn different topics in or break down some of the difficult topics in anatomy, to show you how you can do that is actually super useful. So I do appreciate that they have this page here. And one of the things I want to do on this video, of course, is put this book to work. So one of the things that I'm going to be doing is actually creating a diagram from the book. So before I do that, what I want to do is to quickly go over here the how to use the book. So the directions, they seem to be quite simple. So basically follow the diagrams. Each consecutive diagram has additional features to add on. And once complete, use the larger drawing diagram usually on the next page to learn structures and diagram labeling. And finally, test yourself and your friends. Okay, this part will skip the friends part because right now we're in a time that we cannot have friends nearby or you can maybe 
zoom them. Then there is a part here on how to orientate. It says here cross hatches or compasses are useful for determining your orientation. Yes, that makes sense, especially if you're going to be creating a diagram of a certain anatomical structure. It's important to have some sort of reference of what is superior, inferior, left and right and so on. So whenever drawing, always remember to include one. It will help you determine your orientation for labeling, particularly in exams. Very true. It allows you to orientate the diagram in 2D. And here a quick note on the different lines they use. One is solid red line structure running anteriorly. And then the fenestrated red line structure running posteriorly. Okay, this is to create some sort of perspective of how structures are laying on one in relation to one another. Got it. So I think we're ready to turn the page and see that we are here on the first cardiovascular system. So the first system that is going to be covered here on the book. And what I'm going to be doing is just going through the different images quickly with you guys, as you can see, neurology. So different images here, and I, as I can quickly see, these are usually structures that are very hard to understand, even when you look at a diagram. So to have a way to simplify them with simple images like this, is really cool. So as we move further, you can see different pages here covering the different systems and different structures connected to each system. At the end, I just wanna see what's happening. So at the end, we're going to find these pages here where you can write some notes. I believe these pages are essentially for you to write some additional notes that you want to include that are not on the book because in terms of drawing, I don't think these two or three pages will be enough. Maybe if you're on the go and you don't have a notebook with you, these pages could be useful. But we have here a beautiful, here a beautiful, as you can see also here, beautiful notebook that I've acquired that I will use to then draw some of the images that I'm going to be picking here today. And we're going to put this book to work and to the test and see if it works. First drawing you need to do is this one here of the spinal cord. So a cross-sectional view of the spinal cord. Okay, let's try and do this. Okay, first lines are in. I'm going to then draw this butterfly shape, which is quite known whenever you see a cross section of the spinal cord. And this last circle here at the middle and we're done with the spinal cord. I'm going to go in and then use my blue marker to then fill the lines. And that is it. I have here the cross section basically done, the cross section of the spinal cord. And I'm going to move on to this part where I have to fill in here the different colors, the green and the red. That was it. I just filled in the green and the red. I'm now ready to label. And to do so, I'm going to be using here this gel pen, this black gel pen. I think it's a bit easier than using a marker. I'm gonna start here then with this label. All right, so I was able here to quickly label all these uh, structures that you see here on the image. Right, this was a very easy one to do. It is really nice to do this because as you're drawing, you kind of understand where things are going. You understand a bit of the relation. So the relation of the gracile fasciculus to the cuneate fasciculus. So it's really nice to kind of get an idea of where things go. So far, this has been helpful, but we're going to try another one and see if it works. So now I want to try something different. Ooh, I like this one because usually 
is hard to understand for first timers, so people who are beginning to study anatomy, especially joints, to learn the anatomy of the shoulder. And I think this is a really beautiful simplified drawing of the shoulder joint that I would like to explore. So this one is a little bit more complex in terms of a drawing, but we're going to start then here in this page, not this one, because here is the final drawing. You want to start with this one, like the directions that we saw at the beginning. So we start from this image, draw then the second one all the way to the third. So what I'm going to do then is start drawing here what I assume to be the humerus. Right. I believe these structures match up. I'm just going, I forgot here, a little bit of the cut and also a bit of the connection here happening. And I think the image is basically sketched out. Now what I need to do is go in and fill in with my marker. And I believe everything is ready now to be labeled and we're going to then turn the book and start labeling. And the first thing I see here are the directions that we can add here. First structure we have here, the clavicle. Let's start labeling then. Right, we have our joint here, our shoulder joint labeled. If we start from the superior part of the joint, we can find here the clavicle and the acromion, a cut of the acromion of the scapula. And between the two, we find a joint, which is the acromioclavicular joint. Then below the acromion, we have the subacromial bursa. You see clearly here the head of the humerus. And our triangular bone, the scapula, you see a cut of the scapula here, and a cut of the glenoid cavity, which is what articulates with the head of the humerus. And between the two, you find some synovial fluid from the joint capsule, as you can see here. So this is a really nice cut and a nice way to understand how the shoulder joint works and how it is when we just cut it and draw it and simplify it like we have here. And we have a hot tip as well here, a sizzling hot tip, which says that remember the acromion is part of the scapula, just like I mentioned. So here what we see is a cut. So unlike demonstrated here where it looks like it's not. It's true because I'm going to pop in here a, an image of the full scapula of the of Kenhub so you can see how the acromion is within the scapula. And if we're just cutting the shoulder joint, then you'll see this cut here as if it were separated, but it's not, it's still part of the scapula. Again, so far, I'm really impressed with this book. This is a really nice way to understand relations uh, between different structures in the human body. This is a way for you to get your hands dirty and understand what anatomy is all about and understand some of the more complex anatomical structures in the human body. For me, this book is a great complement to the different things that we have at KenHub as well, because we offer videos, quizzes, articles, and atlas sections. So to have an opportunity to actually sit down and go through these structures after you go through all of that and draw them, it's a great way for you to memorize and really have solidify your knowledge on any topic here. Again, I just want to remember that we're not sponsored by How to Draw Anatomy. This was a review that I wanted to do because Dr. Phil Molloy approached us, sent us this book, and I'm really happy that we got to try it with you guys. And I have to say, this is definitely a great book to have for your anatomy studies. And now it's time for me to go. Uh, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also let us know in the comments if you would like to see more of these videos where we review different anatomy learning resources. Might be a way for you to find and discover new anatomy learning resources with us. 
Could be, could be. And don't forget that we have everything you need to learn human anatomy on our website, kenhub.com. You'll find lots of videos, lots of quizzes, articles, and atlas sections. Essentially everything you need to master human anatomy and more like histology and medical imaging. Until then, I will see you next time.